Alright, so how do you show that a line is contained in a plane? So let's say I have this line over here r equals to 110 plus lambda 1 1 minus 3 and I have to show uh, and actually I have to see if this line um, is in this plane r dot 2 1 1 equals to 3. So there are two methods of uh, doing this. We'll do the both methods in this video. The first one. The first one requires you to first write down your line equation into parametric form. So the parametric form for this line will be 1 plus lambda, 1 plus lambda, and minus 3 lambda. So there's that, the line equation in parametric form. Step 2 will be you substitute the r of the line with the r of the plane. So the r of the line was 1 plus lambda, 1 plus lambda, and minus 3 lambda. This dot with the normal. The normal was 2, 1, 1. So 2, 1, 1 equals to 3. So the idea is <clears throat> when I sorry when I dot the two uh, vectors over here and if the lambdas wipe out and if my if the left hand side is equals to the right hand side I can safely conclude that the line is contained in the plane because the lambdas wipe out this means that there is um, for all values of lambda uh, the point on the line will lie on this plane and if all the points on the line lie on this plane that means that basically the line lies on the plane so I'll solve this so this will be 2 plus 2 lambda plus 1 plus lambda minus 3 lambda equals to 3 so 2 lambda plus 1 lambda 3 lambda minus 3 lambda 0, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 equals to 3. So, since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and the lambdas are wiped out, I can say that the line is contained in the plane. Now, that's, that's one method of showing this. The second, met the second method first requires you to dot the direction vector with the normal of the plane. So, the direction vector was 1, 1, minus 3 this dot with 2 1 1 so 2 1 1 so if I dot the direction vector of the line with the normal of the plane and the answer is 0 it means that the line is parallel to the plane the reason why it's parallel because the normal is perpendicular to the plane so it means that the direction vector and the normal are perpendicular so if the two, when two vectors are perpendicular the answer is 0 so when I dot the direction vector with the normal and the answer is 0 the line is parallel to the plane so I'll dot this so 2 into 1 2 plus 1 minus 3 equals to 0 so the line is, per, is sorry the line is parallel to the plane this over here is step 1 Step 2 is you pick a point on the line and you plug it into the R of the plane. So I will pick the fixed point that's been given 110. So 110 dot 211 one equal to, equals to 3. So if the two sides are equal when I dot these two vectors, I can conclude that since the line is parallel to the plane and the point on the line is also a point on the plane, the line lies in the plane. So that's method 2 of doing this. So I'll dot this 2 plus 1 equals to 3. Finally, 3 equals to 3. So since left hand side is equal to the right hand side, I can safely conclude that the line is contained in the plane. 